first fully functioning hoverboard in the world. This is a prototype. It weighs 40 kilos. It has four motors on board which create magnetic fields which are then inducing a magnetic field in the copper behind me on the non-ferrous surface which is going to make this thing hover about an inch from the ground. My turn now to play Marty McFly and give it a spin. <laughs> I'm floating on air! Now, although the motor's pretty deafening right now, the team is working on a whisper-quiet solid-state version. And while this board is only an inch off the ground, it could be made higher with more powerful motors. Now, unlike skateboarding, there is no way for me to actually control this. I can't divert the wheels on the ground. There is no friction for me to play with. Whoa! That will be fixed in future versions. As you can see, this prototype is being controlled by a joystick, which is altering the magnetic field. But what's it all for? Well, this white box is being shipped to early Kickstarter backers to let their imaginations run wild. And the board's creator has a few groundbreaking ideas of his own. We want to use this technology to protect buildings from earthquakes. Not just buildings, equipment, art, sensitive things. That's a bit of a way off. Right now, a mere board will cost you $10,000 a go. The battery only lasts a matter of six minutes, and you'd need, of course, the copper or aluminium surface. But heck, it is great fun. Spencer Kelly, this is definitely the coolest gadget of 2014. Whoa! <laughs>